Jarek with House Gun Da. I'm very excited to launch the very first video here on my YouTube channel, House Gun Da. Um, this is a more extensive look at what I showcase on my Instagram account. Um, kind of just show you guys a little bit more of the creative process uh, behind some of my DIYs, some of the in-home interiors and projects that I pick up along the way and just kind of show you guys my world and how I come up with the space and how I tackle any of the projects when updating my apartment. Um, for those of you who are new to House Gone Da, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, you probably should do that now. Um, there's gonna be a series of videos that I have to help launch my channel and I'm excited to share the very first one here we have today. Uh, which is lime washing. So for those of you who do not know what lime washing is, it is a very old technique used in European countries that help use non-toxic minerals and components to help create this artisanal aged lived in look that you see behind me. Uh, the really cool thing that over a few years, you know, if you do own your home and you decide to lime wash, uh, it is one, renter friendly, but two, if you decide to keep it on your walls for over five plus years, it creates really good patina, which shows off that really good aged and lived in look that a lot of high end interiors like to go for. So yeah, everything that I'm showcasing here today, whether you have a house, apartment, a loft, a studio, um, can be accomplished in your space. And yeah, why have boring white walls when you could have a beautiful lime wash wall? a gone dog my wash wall so thank you again for checking out my video if you have not subscribed to my channel um, I suggest you do that because there's a whole uh, collection of videos that I have to help showcase the launch of my channel and also just the lime wash uh, overall project with the dining space a few DIYs and a few product unboxing videos that I have for you guys in store so I'll stop talking and we'll get into what you're here for, lime wash. Now before you get started on this project, make sure that you do pick up some items. I did go to my local home improvement store and found a wood stain brush in the five inch, along with wood sticks, plastic covers, and painter's tape. Now as far as the lime wash paint, you could find some at your local home improvement store, but I decided to go with one that I found online. Color Atelier is not sponsoring this video, but we are manifesting that for this channel. So if you are watching, um, now it is suggested to use a primer when you lime wash, one specifically used for lime wash painting, as it does help bring out those colors and depth when you paint. Um, I specifically chose this company because of their color selection. I did choose their linen beige as it has tans and creams that already go with my home decor. They are a Bay Area native based company and being from the Bay, I just wanted to support them. And come on, look at their Instagram. It's just aesthetically appealing. Now you should always stir your lime wash paint every time you open it. Um, it suggests to stir it every 20 minutes. I even did it before every time I dip my brush for a reapplication. Um, you can see here, this is what it would look like if you don't stir occasionally. You could see that the paint does lose its original color and the compounds and minerals do not remain intact. Um, a proper stir here will show you a more creamy and more true to color uh, paint. Now when you dip your brush, you want to ensure that you're only doing the tip. I went about an inch and an inch and a half of my brush. Now it's important that you let it drip fully. This is to ensure that you don't get unwanted drips on your wall that could cause really bad streaks and really bad color depth uh, when lime washing your walls. Now, when lime washing, you should paint in clouds by creating X shapes, uh, pull in and any direction to help really stretch out that paint, get that paint out of that brush and onto that wall. Um, it's okay if you're seeing, um, you know, really little application in some areas, because that's what's gonna help create kind of that depth where you see lighter and darker colors. Now, don't paint over, over covered areas as it, you should allow clouds to meet so that they can blend together to create that depth that we've been talking about. 
you should only re-tip your brush when you are creating uh, any new clouds. Uh, this is to ensure that that color is centered in a specific area and when you pull out from the core it helps create that depth and helps you blend any neighboring clouds. Now for the corners, including the trim and also the base of the walls, I did treat them as the core of the clouds where you will see a lot more of the color deposited at the core. And as you pull away from the core of the clouds, you will see uh, the color start to fade away. This again will achieve that depth that we wanna see in the colors. Now when joining two clouds together, you wanna follow that same technique and ensure that as you get closer to the neighboring cloud that you are seeing less color uh, and that it fades right into the cloud and it will create a little bit more of that depth that we want to achieve with lime wash. Now we are creatures of habit and I promise you this is really fun and try to have as much fun as you can. Uh, you will get better at it as you complete the project. So, you know, throw on really good music, open a bottle of wine, whatever your thing is, and go for it. Now, don't worry too much if some areas don't look as covered as others. Again, the word of the day is depth. That will help create some of those more deep colors into the wall and then also help create more of that uh, textured look uh, when lime washing. See here some of the spackling was triggered by the lime wash so i am hopeful that by the second coat that it will help kind of cover some of that up overall it was a pretty easy day pretty happy with it uh, we're gonna wait the 24 hours for the second coat and we'll see you then all right so it is day two here with the lime wash project and i could not be happy with the results that we've seen here really good call on waiting the full 24 hours as suggested as i'm able to see where certain paint areas need a little bit more tlc so let's go ahead and attack the second coat but of course let's start the day off with some coffee now you guessed it, we're gonna use the same exact techniques that you learned from day one in completing the first coat. Uh, create those X clouds and stretch out the paint uh, to really give it that depth in the strokes. Uh, you can see here that I'm using that same exact plan with using the corners, trim, uh, and the base uh, as the core of my clouds to help kind of pull uh, the paint away from the core where most of the color is deposited. This will help me give those really clean lines when I remove the painter's tape. Now day two was a little bit more of a strategic application as you already had some paint from the previous coat. I try to stay away from areas where I did like a lot of the different color nuances going on. So ensuring that you stayed away from depositing heavy strokes of paint in those areas where you've already saw some of that color movement uh, was a very helpful skill that I applied on the second day to ensure that I get that textured look at the very end. And as a friendly reminder, don't forget to stir in between your dip brushes and every 20 minutes. And just like coat one, just repeat this technique throughout your space, ensuring that you're following the X clouds and really stretching out that paint and creating the different nuances in the color on your walls. Now, as the second coat here concludes, I wanted to take some time to talk about some advantages of using lime paint. 
Lime paint is simply the healthier paint finish you can buy for your home. Uh, it is traditionally free of solvents, toxic chemicals, and it is composed of natural materials and mineral pigments to help bond substrate through the natural process, resulting in a more durable and breathable coating. The high pH in lime wash makes it mold and mildew resistant, which also means that microorganisms cannot survive in them, which adds in hyperallergenic quality. Now, lime paint is known for removing toxins, odors, and harmful CO2s in the interior air, further improving your air quality. Uh, lime wash paint is a natural mineral-based paint you can use in safe areas with children, pets, and for me, plants. Now I must say I am very happy with this process altogether. It did take up to three days with both the priming and the two coats. Um, I just can't believe the transformation that I'm seeing in my dining space. It almost looks magazine ready. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you did learn something along the way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. Um, and I will be updating uh, my channel with more details about the dining room project, including uh, the few DIYs mentioned at the earlier portion of this video. And I hope to see you guys again. Thanks for watching.